hey guys welcome back to my channel so today i want to show you guys how i achieve these super easy um animal prints well two of them are easy the third one which is like i tried to challenge myself because yeah we'll get to it so first we're gonna start off with the cow nail i just have a white base and then i'm gonna get some black gel polish y'all will not believe how easy this is you're gonna see all i'm doing is making dots but i'm making my dots clearly uneven um, I want them to have like jagged edges in a sense or like maybe like lumpy edges like you don't want it to be flat out circles because then it's not a cow print but um, yeah so you just kind of like just freehand in it really like you don't need no tools for this like no brushes I'm just using the flame brush that comes with the gel polish and just doing whatever looks right really it's hard to explain but one of the, the, well, to me, the cow print nail is the easiest nail to do because as you see here, you don't have to do that much. Like you're just kind of dibbling and dabbling like dots all over the place, but like uneven dots, you know? And even though these are plain colors, I still feel like someone may ask, so I'm just going to go ahead and answer. This black is Perfect Black by Madam Glam. The white is called White by Tracy Nails. The colors that I use will be in the description box below. Now I'm just going to top coat it using my D&D top coat and then I'm going to cure it and that's basically how the nail looks. You can see it's really simple to do. You don't have to know how to do nail art to do this. Like it's really just come globs like just glop the polish on there somewhere, you know. So now we're going to move on to the cheetah nail, one of my or leopard. Oh my gosh, I get it mixed up. Um I believe it's leopard print, but everyone just calls it cheetah print. I don't know y'all know what I mean though so my base is a nude base and it's called workaholic by Madam glam so now I'm gonna go in with this color by Tracy nails I believe it's pronounced pan dulce right or pond I think it's pond because I think it's Spanish I think anyway don't quote me so I'm just taking some glops kind of like I did in the last clip um, you could make these perfect circles but I don't like to I just feel like it looks too unrealistic because no animal spots are perfect circles or at least animals that i've seen what do i know i don't know so um the color the dots i already cured it in the lamp so now i'm gonna take that same perfect black and start going around the dots so what i do my method for this part i do c's so i move my dotting tool oh yeah my bad i'm using a dotting tool i'm using the smallest um dot that i have like the smallest side so it's like i have more control over it but you could kind of tell like I'm making the letter C. I'm doing a C on both sides of the dot. And that's basically how I do mine. But you don't want it to be like too neat though. That's the thing. Um, you kind of want the C's to be a little bit thick. 
but yeah i'm just really moving my brush in like a c type motion All right, so now that all the circles are done having the black lines and stuff, I'm just gonna go into like any blank space and start filling it in with some C's, you know. Basically that pulls the whole look together as a whole. So that's what I'm gonna do. And um, I believe the black on the brown bots, <laughs> the brown bots, <laughs> the brown dots are still not cured yet. The only thing I have cured right now is the brown because if I was to do this and not cure the brown polish, but try to put that black on top, baby that will smear it will look a hot mess like it would not look right so certain things you do have to cure before you move on to the next step but in this case like it didn't really make sense for me to cure it cure the black uh little c's at least so yeah all right and then you're gonna see in the next clip this is the final look so yeah this was really easy all you really need is a dotting tool it gives you more control than a brush, in my opinion. That's why that's what I like to use. Now, that this is a hard one. I don't know what I thought I was doing. This one was just for kicks and giggles. Like, y'all don't have to follow it if you don't want to because there's another easy way to do this. But I'll name that in a second. So what I'm doing, I'm using this Luminous Layers from... I don't know, it's some old resin thing, like using resin. I got it from Hobby Lobby, but I found it on Amazon for like way cheaper, so you could probably get it there too if you would like. Um, I'll link it in the description box below. I'm using this cute little mermaid iridescent color, and I'm just gonna tape it to the nail. I'm using Stiletto Nail Tips by McCart. Um, I like using these to design nails. I don't do, well, I do my nails with them sometimes. I don't make press on nails with these though, because they don't really, they're not um, accurate sizing. So I use them for designing nails and stuff. So I'm using that. The glue I'm using is my OG Mia Seeker Strong Jet Clear Glue. So I just glued on the paper to the nail. And y'all, it took so many tries to get that paper down, like all the way. So I pressed it down and now I'm just capping it with some hard gel just to make sure it stays on. And then when I'm done with all that, you see I'm gonna file it, buff it out, and then paint some lines on top of it and blah, blah, blah. However, if you are doing this on an actual person, this would take way too long. Maybe if you use acrylic and not hard gel. But if you're doing this on a person, the more easier way to do it would to be used like a maybe um, a pink gel color or maybe a white gel color. Use some unichrome on top of that. You cure it and then you do the snake lines on top. That would be the most accurate way to do this if you don't want to use these papers. Because like I said, these papers I just had laying around. So I just want to try it out. I don't think I'll actually do it on somebody though because it took really long to say like it was one nail, you know? So um, yeah, I'm just really filing the nail right now. And then in the next clip, you're gonna see I am gonna paint these lines on. The lines are actually really simple to follow. I'm using that same white paint by Tracy Nails. I'm just drawing some horizontal lines in the center. And then in a second, you're gonna see like I'm gonna cross up the sides of the nails. And this striping brush, y'all, I made it because I think I got this brush from Amazon a long time ago, but you, I've never found like a really thin one, you know? And this one was super long and it has so many bristles on it. And I'm just like, the line ain't thin enough for me. Like, baby, like I gotta do something with it. And I was scared to cut it cause I didn't want to ruin it, you know? So I cut it anyway and I made it super thin. And you guys, now it is literally perfect honestly my favorite brush to use so sometimes you just gotta you know do what it do like make it do what it do by yourself sometimes you can't always buy things you know perfect like in a perfect way that you would like you may have to just alter it yourself and make it like do it to your liking but yeah um yeah i'm just gonna do these lines <laughs>
all right so now i'm just top coating it and you can see everything come to life usually some people will add like hard gel on the top to make it like a 3d layer so it's even like you could feel the snake skin like the lumps but i didn't do all that i just wanted to do something simple so here is the final look at all three of the nails and i really hope you guys enjoy my tutorial thank you so much for watching i hope it helped you guys so if it did let me know if you think it was easy to follow then great um don't forget to like comment and subscribe and check out my website herbabe.com and i'll see y'all later bye